Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating an algebraic expression based on a given polynomial. We are given x squared minus 3x equals 1, and we're supposed to evaluate x cubed minus 1 over x cubed, based on the first polynomial given. So I'll be presenting more than one method. Let's start with the first one. So I'm going to start by looking at this polynomial and trying to solve it. Let's put everything on the same side. This is quadratic, so the quadratic formula tells us negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. That's going to be 3 plus minus square root of 13 divided by 2. Now, there are two x values which I can use and does it matter which one I use? That's a good question. Let's go ahead and use the one with the plus sign. So 3 plus root 13 divided by 2. And we're going to go ahead and plug this in. We are supposed to evaluate x cubed minus 1 over x cubed. So I basically need to cube this expression. If you cube both sides, then you're going to get the cube of a fraction or a quotient which is going to be the quotient of two cubes. So we're going to cube the numerator and we're going to cube the denominator, which is eight. To cube this, you can use the formula a cubed, which is 27, plus b cubed, which is 13 root 13, plus 3ab, which is 9 root 13, times a plus b, which is 3 plus root 13. I kind of like this formula, or you can just use the binomial theorem directly. Okay, so x cubed from here is going to be, if we simplify this, 27 plus 13 root 13 plus 27 root 13 plus 9 times root 13 times root 13. That's going to be 9 times 13. And that's going to be 117. Add them all up and divide by 8. This is x cubed. 27 plus 117 is 144. And 13 plus 27 is 40, 40 root 13, all of that is divided by 8. Both of these numbers are divisible by 8, so we can simplify x cubed a great deal. 144 divided by 8 is 18, think about it, 144 is 2 times 72. And then this is going to be 5 root 13, awesome. So we got a really nice expression for x cubed, and notice that x is kind of like a fraction, but x cubed isn't, right? Cool. Since we got x cubed, we can plug it in. Our goal is to find x cubed one over, minus 1 over x cubed. So that's going to be 18 plus 5 root 13 minus 1 over 18 plus 5 root 13. And what you should be doing here is rationalizing the denominator. So multiply by this, the conjugate, and divide by that. In other words, multiply by 1. But this is going to rationalize the denominator. From here, you're going to get 18 plus 5 root 13 minus. Now, in the numerator, I have 18 minus 5 root 13. In the denominator, I have 18 squared, which is 324. And 5 root 13 multiplied by itself is going to be 25 times 13. And if you do 25 times 13, that should be 325. Because if you think about it, 25 times 12 is 300, and then you just need to add 25. Make sense? Great. So this is going to be a negative 1, and we have another minus sign or negative sign. We can go ahead and negate those, and that gives us 18 plus 5 root 13 plus 18 minus 5 root 13, because I have a 1 at the bottom, and this, these two terms cancel out, leaving us with something super duper nice, and that will be 36. So the answer is 36. Make sense? Okay, with the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Actually, kind of a, a challenge uh, for you could be like, however many methods you can find, solve this problem uh, with as many methods as possible. Okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the second method now. Of course, you're supposed to find something that I haven't used, right? And by the way, going back to the first method, if we use the other route, would it matter uh, you can go ahead and test it out, okay? 
So, with the second method, obviously, we're going to do something smarter. And what is that going to look like? It's going to look like manipulating this x squared to get x cubed. Because from here, we can basically write x squared in terms of x. So in, in other words, we have a linear expression. Let's do the same thing for x cubed. x cubed is x squared times x. And x squared is 3x plus 1. You see, that's the formula. And now we're going to go ahead and distribute. That's going to give me 3x squared plus x if you use the distributive property. But we do know a formula that x squared can always be replaced with 3x plus 1. By the way, this method is kind of nice because it doesn't assume any of the solutions. It actually works for both at the same time. Make sense? Because we're not solving for x. We're expressing x squared in terms of x. Let's replace x squared with 3x plus 1 and 1 plus x. So from your x cubed is going to be 9x plus x, which is 10x plus 3. That's just another expression that I could use. And what am I going to do with this, right? Well, we're supposed to find x cubed minus 1 over x cubed. So that's probably going to require that you find x to the 6. Because if you make a common denominator, that gives you x to the 6, which means you need to square this, right? But you don't need to do that because we can just replace x cubed with 10x plus 3 right away. So forget about this and replace x cubed with 10x plus 3 in both places. And this is actually going to be a lot easier. Distribute, make a common denominator. You get 100x squared plus 9 plus 60x minus 1 divided by 10x plus 3. Now notice that x squared can be replaced with something which was what? x squared was 3x plus 1. Be careful. 3x plus 1 is going to replace that. And then we have another 60x. And then 9 minus 1 is just 8. And divide that by 10x plus 3. This should be nice, right? Go ahead and distribute. You get 300x plus 100 plus 60x plus 8 divided by 10x plus 3. So again, we replace x cubed with something linear and then made the common denominator. We got a quadratic and we're doing that again. Make sense? So here we get 360x plus 108 divided by 10x plus 3. If you look at this very carefully, hopefully you're going to realize that we can take out a 36 as a common factor. And that gives us 10x plus 3 divided by 10x plus 3. And what does that tell you? Cancel that out. Cross it out. And you end up with 36 as the answer. And that's the same thing that we got before. So I can probably quickly talk about method 3 because this is just awesome. Okay? So what do we have? x squared minus 3x is equal to 1. And I'm supposed to evaluate this expression. Let's take a look. This is fun. Now, I'm going to go ahead and work on this, but this time I'm going to bring the 1 over and put the 3x on the right hand side and then divide both sides by x. This is actually going to do miracles because this left hand side gives me x minus 1 over x and right hand side gives me an integer. And now I can go ahead and cube both sides. That's going to give me a cubed minus b cubed minus 3ab times a minus b. I just, I'm just using the famous identity. And uh, my goal is to evaluate this expression right here. But I do know that this is equal to 3. 3 times 3 is 18. And from here, x cubed minus 1 over x cubed is supposed to equal, I mean, did I say 18? 3 times 3 is 9. I don't know. 27 plus 9 is 36. As before, we get the exact same answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.